Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video, and today we're taking a look at the new and improved S-Works Torch Road Shoe. Uh, this video is kind of late, but I figured this is more of just like an unboxing video to show you guys the different colors of the shoes that they offer. So they make these shoes in three different sizes. Uh, I'm going to go through all the shoes, show you guys the colors, what they change on the shoe, and then also I have here a scale that we can weigh the shoe with, and I also have the older generation, the S-Works 7 shoe, to compare it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like on foot. This is a size 45, and this is a size 45, so I'll put them on my left and right foot so you guys can see it and tell you what I noticed about the differences in the feel of the, of the shoe. Um, but yeah, so, the big changes to the shoe is it's $450 now for the shoe retail. Obviously, it's the most expensive shoe they've done, I think, recently, um, compared to the Aries and the Vent, which were both 425 This is now their flagship and their most expensive shoe they offer. Also, with this being said, uh, there is no more numbers before they have the S-Works 6 shoe, the S-Works 7. This is just going to be called their S-Works Torch, which will follow in line with their S-Works or their normal Torch shoe lineup. They have the Torch 1.0, the 2.0, and also the 3.0. Now this will be the S-Works. So, they also lower the heel cup on the shoe. So now it is asymmetric, so it doesn't come up as high. So we don't get as much uh, ankle rub on the bottom. They made it stiffer on the interior side, so that way you don't get as much heel roll or arch roll. When uh, sprinting and climbing, you have that support on the interior side of the shoe. Um, they also got rid of the Velcro strap. That was one of the biggest, in my opinion, gimmicky things I think I've ever seen on the sixes and the sevens. Anytime I bought one of these pairs of shoes or rode them, I don't think I ever pulled this tight to actually show any kind of efficiency of this being here, which I'll demonstrate for you guys when I put it on, but yes. Um, the bows are exactly the same as last year. This is the S-Work 7 boa. This is the Torch bow as well. It's the exact same S3 bow that they've been using. But um, yeah, the biggest differences they said were that they changed the bottom of this to make it, the, I believe they call it like an I-beam to make it lighter. But not only lighter, they made this wider to give you more room in the toe box. And me putting the shoe on beforehand in the video, I put them on side by side and it does feel noticeably different. So without further ado, let me just show you guys the differences in the colors just in case you guys can't get to a shop or maybe your local shop doesn't have these shoes in stock and you're considering ordering some of these, um, you can guys at least see what they look like on camera. For reference, these are all size 45, 44 and a half, 44 and a half um, European size. So I think this is a 11 and a half, 11 and 11. So keep that in mind. But this is the white version they offer. It's got silver bows in there. Nice white bow string. This is what it looks like from the top. This is what it looks like from the back. You can kind of see the slanted heel cup. See how there's less low profile design right here. You have the S-Works logo right there. We have the specialized logo on the front, interior side, and then the bottom. Nice little vent hole right here for some air circulation. And then we have the titanium clips in here for your cleats. On to the new color, which it's a cool color. It's really, really cool color. I just assume like like usually they did like the red color with the Aries. That was a color they did. I haven't seen any bikes they drop for these, so maybe this is a hint. They might have like a 2023 model come out with this color. It's just you don't really see a lot of bikes with this. But anyways, this is called Oak Green. You have the S works in this green color. Specialized logo on the back with the green. Same black uh, boas. Mm. These to me look a little bit more gunmetal, gray. But they have a, a transparency color right there. It fades to oak green. This is what it looks look like from the front. Interior. And on the bottom, the heel cup is, is really, the, the whole sole of the shoe is really cool looking. You have the S-Works logo right there. The green spack on there. That would be cool if this was all over the shoe. And you have a green insole as well. And then for the black, just regular, more of like a dove gray or gray color S-Works logo, black heel cup, gray specialized logo, silver gray specialized logo there, black S3 boas. This is what it looks like from the top, the interior, and then the bottom, same sole as well. Very cool. A lot of people didn't like the design. This is definitely out there. But for the black and white shoes, I heard mixed feelings. I heard one, people loved it because of the fact that it's not a big brand in your face. It lo looks a little bit less like your 
buying a brand to wear because not a lot of people have specialized bikes and they might want to buy these shoes but they don't want to mix and match so they like the less uh in your face look to it um but i miss i think this i think this design looks really cool i like the yesworks logo now granted again i am a specialized store i ride specialized bikes i like having everything there so this maybe will work for more of a an all-around or better marketing scheme for people in general with buying shoes but um yeah let's go ahead and weigh these two and i'll show you all right so here we go with the weight scales and grams we have a 45 uh s-works 7 shoe right here this is a stock shoe this is a 45 s-works torch shoe so go ahead and put the seven on here no packaging on there we're at 270 grams okay and these are with the original stock soles as well. Everything stock as it comes. These ones are at 253 grams. So we're taking off about uh, 17 grams, I think. Seven? No. Yeah. Somewhere around there. 17 grams per shoe, which is really nice, actually. Very comfortable design. I'm going to go ahead and put them on side by side to show you guys how they feel. All right, so for reference... I've owned a pair of the Esprit 7 shoes before. They are a very comfortable shoe. A lot of the feedback that I got as a salesman here and as someone who sold the shoes was from uh, consumers was that they're almost too stiff. Now these shoes have the exact same stiffness as the Esprit 7 shoes. So it's the exact same stiffness. I think it's a stiffness index 15. So they said that they weren't, they weren't losing any kind of stiffness by redesigning this sole on the shoe. So it's the exact same carbon stiffness from shoe to shoe. Now, both dials are dialed down. Both bows are dialed down. This is what I'm talking about. This little thing right here, this literally, when I pull this thing, does nothing. Like literally, literally does nothing. I don't even know what the hell the point of this was. Does that make any sense? But that's how you look. First initial impressions of putting on a stock 45 shoe. Uh, immediately when I tighten out these boas, I feel pressure on the top of my foot. Now I do have really wide feet and I do have really high arches. You guys can see right there. I have pretty wide feet right here, wide bunions. But like I said, this is initial tightened down for the boas. Very tight on the top and tight in the toe box. So I don't ride a wide normally, but uh, I do notice it right away. I usually just kind of let the break in period happen. But immediately when I go to these new torch shoes, now this is just me again. This is not me selling you guys shoes because you guys don't need to buy from me. But I'm telling you guys, this whole shoe, even though it looks very minimalistic, feels like a complete redesign. It feels more, and I, ho I hope you guys understand this. This feels like I'm putting on a shoe and I'm on top of the shoe and just riding like a bike on the shoe. This feels more like a glove fit. The whole tongue, the way it fits the top of the foot, you can even see the shape of the tongue. Much more contoured to the top of the foot, so I don't feel any pressure at all on the foot, which feels good. They changed the design of the boas. So they changed the, dial, the design of the boas here to a point where these where these line up at. You can see here to here, left and right. So where the meeting points that you shoes at, this is where I feel the pain at and the pressure. They replaced them here and here to make it a little more comfortable. They also added these little boa hold-ins for the lace to give you a more secure fit. But you can see the, the toe box, these two. I don't know if you can see side by side. Let's see. The, the shoe on my right, the new S-Works Torch, I don't feel crimped at all. Immediately right now, I can feel my bunion. That's my bunion right there, poking out. I feel the pressure on the side of the shoe. I get used to it, I ride it. I put it even in a different sole as well. But um, here, you can even see the shoe just fits much more wider. But I'm telling you, it feels like you're you're in the shoe more than on top of the shoe, if that makes sense. It feels like it's a, just a, a sock and I feel like I can wear these around comfortably. They've also made points to this, the shoe as well. See how this has more supporting material? I don't know if you can see this because it's white. See this little kind of cutout right here? This is where people's bunions will usually fit or a wider part of their foot. This has a little bit more forgiveness material right here. It's more forgiving. And this is a little bit more supportive material. Whereas on the 7 itself, it's just all one type and actually feels like a line of bread with that crease. Um, but the shoes feel nice and comfy. Also, the lower Achilles support on the ankle right there. See how it goes down lower on this side? When I do this with my, with my foot, about to the side, I don't feel any kind of pressure. Whereas if I do this on this side, I can feel the pressure right here. Um, and again, that might not be a big thing to you, but if you're doing a long distance ride and your foot starts to swell up or if you're, 
you're climbing or if you're sprinting or if you're going fast aggressively, your foot's gonna be moving around a lot and you're gonna get that agitation marks. So, but really, no lie to you. These shoes feel like a huge revamp to what the current S-Work 7s are. Very minimalistic uh, look design to it in terms of like what they did to the looks, but in terms of the feels, these shoes feel very, very nice. They're nice shoes. And right now I'm riding the Aries, which I usually made out of the red Aries. And I do have a pair of the um, uh, Shimano S-Fires. I usually made the Aries more than the S-Fires, but these shoes feel really badass. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later.